Assalamualaikum and hello to everyone, especially to Professor Dr. Siti Aisyah Binti Panatik. Today, we are going to discuss about concurrent validity. Okay, first of all, I would like to introduce my team members. I am Norizan Binti Abu Bakar. Next is Anwar bin Ibrahim. Third one is Rina Farhana Binti Ramli. Last but not least, Muhammad Nakawin bin Hizil. What is concurrent validity? Alright, concurrent validity is a type of criterion validity. If you create some type of test, you want to make sure it is valid. So, it is frequently employed in psychology, education and social science. Differences between convergent and concurrent validity Convergent validity shows how much a measure of one construct aligns with other measures of the same or related construct. On the other hand, concurrent validity is about how a measure matches up to some non-criterion or goal standard which can be another measure. Why do we conduct concurrent validity tests? Actually, concurrent validity shows you the extent of the agreement between two measures or assessment taken at the same time. It is to check that your measure is measuring the construct you believe it is measuring. Another one is to replace the initial test. This is the example of concurrent validity. For example, you wish to evaluate a new survey that measures employee commitments concurrent validity. In order to accomplish so, you may first one ask the same group of employees to respond to your new survey as well as an earlier which is validated survey, then contrast the outcomes. Another one is obtain some staff responses to your new survey. The findings of a popular employee performance indicator such as a performance evaluation should then be compared to the respondents' responses. If the results of the two measurement procedures are similar, you can conclude that they are measuring the same thing. The screen display the concurrent versus predictive validity. Actually, both are subtypes of criterion validity. They are employed to show how a test contrasts with the industry norm or criterion. For example, concurrent is a validation approach in which the test and criterion scores are obtained at the same time. Meanwhile, predictive validity is a validation approach in which the criterion variables are assessed following the test results. Now, we are talking about the advantages of concurrent validity. First one, it is a quick method for validating your data. Second one, it is a very suitable method of validating personal qualities. In an example, we can measure the depression, IQ, strengths and weaknesses. This is the disadvantages of concurrent validity. First one, it is predicting prospective future performance such as job performance or college success which is less accurate than predictive validity. Second one is, re responses may vary between groups if you are testing various populations, such as job seekers and workers. As a conclusion, it can be said that concurrent validity is a sort of evidence that can be acquired 
to justify using a test to predict other outcomes. It is established when a test correlates well with a previously validated measure. Although they are frequently employed for different but supposedly related constructions, the two measurements may be for the same construct.